What's up? I'm back. In this segment, I've kind of mentioned this before, but I, I want to re, re, you know, stamp, restamp this in people's minds: the importance of biology. With physicists finding two new subatomic particles, the world of physics is going through massive transformation, very impressive transformation, to be honest. So much so that, in a lot of ways, a lot of physics and even esoteric concepts are merging. Where you even see the movies like Interstellar where the creators just actually want to make a scientific movie. So in some ways, it's an exciting time, I have to admit. It's kind of funny though, looking at the response to Interstellar. You can tell the American audience, Chinese audience, and Asian audience seem to like it. Can't tell Europe yet. It seems like Europe liked it more than America, but the American audience totally didn't like it. And I think it's because American audiences are just naturally intellectually lazy. But I do think it's a, it actually hits on a fundamental problem, though, which is going to connect to biology. I do think biology, like all science, I mean, all physics, sorry, all science goes back to physics at the end, end of the day. You know, you know, chemi in chemistry, you're kind of studying the reactions between two elements mixing together. Biology, you know, you're looking at it from cells, cellular structure whether it's zoology, whether it's animals, or botany, whether it's plants. But physics, you're looking at the fundamental laws of the universe, which is obviously important. But I do admit one thing that gets missed is that the human body potentially is the most sophisticated um, tech organic technology in the planet. And when you say this, it seems so insane to be honest, right? When you look at it, it seems insane because we just naturally have a disconnect. This is why sometimes you have physicists who, this is what happens when you would even have physicists and chemists, and doctors too, who would be the smartest dudes in the world, smartest guy, smartest woman in the world, right? Still eating McDonald's, to be honest. Part of that comes from a lack of understanding of the physical reality in everyday in everyday concepts or everyday life, to be honest. And the fact that I could say, oh, the human body is the most advanced piece of technology organic technology on the planet, most people would just be like, oh, totally dismiss that, to be honest. But when you look at it from a certain aspect, you have to look at it for what it is. In medicism, you know, you say the mineral mind comes first, then the plant, then the animal, then the human. The human is special I don't want to say special, but the human body is, is unique because it consumes the first three, the mineral, plant, and animal. So in some ways, it has elements of all those things within it. Even when we talk about really the real superior species in the, in the, in the really, the only two species that could challenge the humans is really bacteria and insects for the most part. But we have insects actually in our eyebrows, believe it or not. And the human body is 85% bacteria. So you could actually include those two species with us as well. So when you look at it, then the human mind, the human mind has the ability to integrate mental energy or akasha into the physical. So when you look at that potential, when you merge the two, where, where the human is kind of considered kind of like half cosmic, half terrestrial, yeah, the human body has great potential for growth. And understanding even the human body would actually unlock a lot of secrets in physics, believe it or not. So I think in some ways sometimes that, that gets missed in present science, but that gets missed in esoteric circles too. Because if you have so many people who discard the physical world and discard the human body, I mean, there's people who just look at the body as bacteria, just useless flesh. That's missing the, the hidden secrets that's within the body. It's kind of why, you know, you have some esoteric sciences that dealt with causing transmutations in the body. It's very important. Even in true yoga you know when you do true yoga the body that you had before you did yoga is not the same body that you have after doing the yoga because in true yoga you know more more the tantra yoga the older yogas they understood the importance of the body to be honest and that goes back to biology again and you know when the person is looking at it i think that's missing so it's like almost like you know when you go into this esoteric law and you study you know you study you, you, you mysticism you metaphysics, and then you want to integrate it with science, which is so important, you start with physics. Unfortunately, physics by itself probably wouldn't ground it as much as it's supposed to. So then, in my opinion, when you do the metaphysics with the physics, 
but then you also counteract it with biology and chemistry, bring it down to earth a lot more, it becomes more balanced. And I think that's what people need to look at. People look, need to look at, it's not that the human body is great right now. It's the potential of what it can become. The human body can be altered, it can be modified, it can be changed using natural means. Now, I'm not talking about drugs, but it can be changed, altered, modified, upgraded using natural means. That in itself, it's very powerful. And that in itself taps into its real potential. I think in order to really understand that, you have to have at least a base level understanding of biology. More than high school level, maybe you get away with it. But I would probably try to go college level. But you get away with it in high school. You could get away with it. But I think because in Western science, really, it's all kind of based on physics, which is good. But I think if physics... If the physicists were to actually see what's already in their face, not breaking down our particles to its smallest essence. Because even when you break down the particle to its smallest essence, if you don't understand the external part of it, to be honest, if you don't understand about the power of the blood, the importance of the human brain, then that could, you, know, you could break down and you can go to, to electrons and hadrons all day. Would it make a difference to you? So I think biology... And even it's beyond human biology by itself. I mean, zoology and botany are extremely important. Plant cells are very complex in certain ways, very important to study. And realistically, you, we're just really talking about the human body when it really absorbs. And, and, and the human body, when it gets linked with the human mind properly, and all the circuits are open, and you understand the importance of the plant cell, and you understand the importance of the animal cell and the animal mind, then you integrate that back into the human consciousness, which the subconscious then connects or programs the body, and then your body will change. A lot of times when we look at the human body, it, it becomes hard because we just, I'm not just saying this to say, oh, just look at the physical part of the body, but the, the body has seven bodies. It's very layered. And biology is one way of being able to do that from a, from a very logical standpoint, which is a very important, very needed, because the logic gives you structure. And it gives you structure when you understand that. Then you can understand the deeper principles that physics is talking about. And you can understand the deeper principles that occultism is talking about. So I hope that helps. Very short and sweet. Till next time. Peace.